How long have you been following this? How long? Um, yeah. Ten years. Ten years, so that's not very long. No, that's not very long. If you can accomplish, if you can, if you can get to know who you are in your lifetime, you've accomplished what you were born to do. And that's quite an accomplishment because very few people do. Most people live and die never even knowing that they are divine beings. So this, this is wonderful. No, 10 years is nothing. Um, when I had realized this, this is about 30 years ago. And I had that, that shock. <laughs> Was that? Nisa Gadatta, uh, one of the teachers in India. Yeah. It's only three, four years, and he said he did everything his teacher said. Yes. And in three, four years, he. Yeah, and he, it's true. And he realized the truth after, yeah. after his teacher. That's right. He says, I believed completely whatever the teacher told me, and I had no doubt. Yeah. And he says, what he told me became true. But. You might say, oh, if I only had that trust, if I only had this, if I only had that. Where did that trust come from? You see? From years and years and years, maybe lifetimes of learning and growing and looking and seeing. You see? So, so what I'm saying is, I'm not saying that this is a, uh, has to take a long time. What I'm saying is that when we begin to realize, and you can realize it here, because you wouldn't be in satsang if you weren't ready, you know, you wouldn't be here, that in this moment, in this now, you are already that, you see? Now, a part of you cross creates this noise, oh, but I couldn't be, but I'm still, you know, they're still wanting, they're still needing this, still this and this, yes, that's fine. That's fine, there's still that, I'm still identifying with it. So what you do is keep working at it, chipping away at it, until it falls away and, you, and, the, and the noise is gone. So never, never struggle against anything that is happening. The yearning is there and it's, it's wonderful. And get to know that yearning, you know, make a friend to it, get to know it. And, and that, that itself, and this is what I'm trying to say here, that the noise will lead you automatically into the silence. Use the noise mm -hmm. to lead you back to it. Yeah. 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 Because I, I feel very restless. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. Yes. And thank you so much for bringing it out. And, and, and I see your, your sincerity. I see your beauty. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Yeah. Yes, stay with the discomfort and see where it's coming from. It's not you, it's, it's, it's something that, it, it wants comfort. It wants something deeper, something better, but you don't know what it is. And you can never know what it is until you recognize it. And when you recognize it, you still don't know what it is, but you're being it. You see, we have used many words. Oh God, we have used so many words. But they're just words their concepts mm -hmm. but it's a feeling knowing you see it is it, mm -hmm. the best way to describe it would be a deep silence that is a that is a great joy that is a great beauty you see you were going to ask something huh yes when, when um, Dara was speaking it um, it came to me because I I've had this yearning to for as long as I can ever remember, and um, in, it seems like in moments of clarity, it never really goes away, but um, but there's an acceptance of it, so maybe the yearning is an answer in itself, really. The, the yearning itself, even fear or, or, or whatever, discomfort no, or whatever know. it is, but the yearning itself, you see, just like, like, like all noise, but yearning is beautiful, actually. Because, because yearning is more direct. There is something that is not fulfilled in me and I want that more than anything. You see? And when you begin to get in touch with it, you begin to accept it, that very acceptance itself begins its beauty, begins the release. As long as you think that the yearning shouldn't be there, then it's going to become stronger. You see? But if you accept it and you see the beauty of it, because you're not doing anything, right? You're not doing it, it's there. 
Yeah, it, it's it's not doing anything. It's just I keep I'm aware of the restlessness inside of me. Yeah, accept that restlessness. Don't fight it. Don't try to get rid of it. Nothing. Just listen to it. Take moments every day. If if you happen to go to a day, very very tense day, very uncomfortable day, you know, then take time. And, and, and sit in the toilet if you have to, if you're busy with people and you need some two minutes by yourself. Take a deep breath and just feel that yearning. But allow it, allow it. I'm not causing it. I feel tears, I feel pain, I feel a sadness. But it's there. There's nothing I can do about it. It's there. It's there. And I'm seeking, I'm wanting something. You see? Yeah. And and get in touch with that wanting, with that needing. You see? And then it and then something starts to happen inside you when you start accepting it, accept allowing it. You see, what is the greatest love? Is it when you love someone or someone loves you? No. Is the greatest love when you love someone even though they don't love you? No. The greatest love is when you can feel pain and still love yourself. That's the greatest love. Did you know that? Yeah. When you can feel the yearning and the sadness and the guilt and the shame and still say, it's okay. The only See? thing remains yeah. when I get angry sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And if you get angry then don't get angry for being angry, you just become aware what is happening. You see? And keep moving, moving with it, moving yeah, with it. I, yeah. I, I see it's like I mm -hmm. understand everything and the only thing I don't have is patience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's part of the noise too. <laughs> yeah. Bert, could it um, be also that maybe it is the very source of our being that is yearning for us and yearning for us just to um, be, be um, silent? Yes, that's it. That's and what it, it is. Isn't just our our that old ego necessarily. That's no, yearning, but it so, so that's what you've yeah. kind of been saying that it is yeah. the very God of ourself. It's yearning for us. Yes, it's it's, it's it cannot be the ego that's yearning. Yeah, it cannot be. No, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, ego is is really uh, just a misnomer anyway. You know. Ego is, means the belief that, yeah, oh, I am the body, I am the past. That's, that's what ego really is, you know. Yeah. But you're far more than that, you see. Mm -hmm. So ego is just, yeah. So it's yearning to be recognized. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yearning to be, that's lovely. Yeah. That's just both of you just said something so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a yearning to be recognized, you see. But if you say, I don't want this feeling, then you're prolonging, you're prolonging it from recognizing itself, mm -hmm. you see? But all it is, is, a, is that yearning to recognize, to know, to understand, to feel. <clears throat> but the feeling has nothing to do with words. Of course, a miracle says words are symbols of symbols. But they have to be used, just like I have to talk, but, so but is it's... That, is that your the yearning is not who you are. The yearning is thinking that you are this ego, thinking that you are this facade, thinking that you are this body. And then, because of that, there is a feeling that I don't feel complete, I don't feel fulfilled, I feel there's something more. But that feeling of something more is, 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 is it, this ultimate sense, this ultimate knowing. Because the ultimate knowing says, no, this is not it. How many times you say, oh, if I fall in love, I'm going to be happy forever. This is all I ever want. And then you fall in love, and then one month down the road, or even less. It's not what I thought it was. Okay, because it never is. And then the yearning starts to come. Because there is a part of us that is seeking outside what we already are. We know we are divine. We know but we don't know it consciously but there's a deep feeling and that deep feeling is called yearning for it because we're not happy with the way things are thinking I am just a body, thinking I am just this, thinking I am just a name 
and form.